guys welcome back and in today's video i will be showing you guys the value of a dalmatian so dalmatians are an ultra rare that have extremely good value they are honestly one of the best pets and a lot of people like them so let's go ahead and see what our first trade is so now we are getting offered a fly ride crocodile a rideable kitsune and a neon beluga so they're those pets oh and they're giving us a thousand bucks silk bag so they're giving us three good pets they're okay pets the best pet is a crocodile and it is an ultra rare same as the dalmatian but the dalmatian has more demand and then the other pets are just little add-ons that don't have very good demand so this trade even though we're basically getting an ultra for an ultra rare the dalmatian has way more value so this is a lose but now for our next trade we are getting offered a fly ride chocolate chip bad dragon and the chocolate chip bad dragon honestly they do have good value but if they're just going to give us one for the dalmatian then that isn't fair because the dalmatian has been out for longer so this trade is a lose but now we are getting offered a Oh, they're giving us a hair box and they're giving oh let me look for the dalmatian i can't put it okay so they're giving us a two neon eggnogs a sheep an ultra rare neon sheep and then the hair box so this trade actually it is about fair because of the neon rideable sheep but hey, if i came across this trade i wouldn't do it only because the sheep is harder to trade than dalmatian itself for our next trade we are now getting offered a let's see what they're going to add okay so now we're getting offered a mega eggnog dog so these both actually came out they're both christmas pets um except the dalmatian came out first so it has more value and it's an ultra rare and the eggnog dog is an uncommon so even though it is a mega it still is a loose but now we are getting offered a rideable flare device a fly ride cobra a rideable water moon bear a mummy cat and then a flying fish that is neon so these legendaries actually don't have very good demand so even though it is a lot of legendaries and it's cool pets it's still a lose but now for our next trade we are now getting oh okay so now we're getting offered a neon fly ride meerkat and a neon fly ride capybara and as well as they're giving us a neon rideable lunar tiger so actually this trade i'm pretty sure alone well alone actually the meerkat alone is worth the dalmatian and it's a win for the dalmatian like we're winning but they're giving us a capybara and a luna tiger so this is actually an extremely big win so if i were to come across this trade i would do it and i'm honestly going to ask them if we can do this like if i can offer for the meerkat on the loan and they actually did say good meerkat has a lot of value so does capybara and that actually is extremely true they do have very good value both of them so they're actually giving us a big win but they said sure but would you do this trade with the leg so if they were to add a legendary then they would be beyond winning but um i don't think i would do this trade right now just because i want to keep recording the video but if i were like at the end of the video or if i were to just come across this trade then i would definitely do it but let's ask them what would they want for the meerkat alone because i want to get the meerkat i don't know what they i don't know what they want and i don't know like what i would really give for it right now but they asked if i would do this trade if they would add i don't think i'm gonna do that just because i am doing the video so but it is a win though it is a really good trade but they said i don't know let me see so let me i guess let me see what i can give them so if we see i guess i could give them a i could give them a neon ice moth that could probably that does a lot but that that's definitely what i'm gonna do because the meerkat's worth more than an ice moth that's not fair but i could probably give them an eggnog dog a neon one not just a normal one because those are those are okay and then let's see i don't know what else i could give them i could probably try to give them like another low tier neon legendary that does a lot but doesn't have very good value i could probably give them the neon scarecrow crow or i could do the neon or i could do a normal goat mahi mahi that just came out or i could do a mega emo i don't know what they would want a pig or 
Well, I'll do a flower and a green. I made a flower right normal ranger. I think that's good. So, a neon ice moth, a neon rideable eggnog dog, and a fly ride reindeer for a neon fire near cat. I think that sounds right. I would do that. I don't know if they would want to do that. But, um, let's see if they want to do that. I, so, this trade either we're slightly winning or it's fair. But they, what, well, why would they decline? They should just told me, I, I would have definitely overpaid. Like, I would have overpaid big time for that. So, I don't know. They should have said that. Okay, so for our next trade, we are now getting offered two bat dragons and a puffer fish. So this trade is the so two actual two chocolate chip bat dragons are worth um, a domination that on its own that's about fair. So just for those two, that trade is good, and they're giving us a dingo. Well, they took out the puffer fish and they're giving us a dingo, a lunar neon tiger, a golden dragon, a cracked egg, an urban egg, and I guess kind of just little add-ons um the puffer fish was worth more than all of that i'm pretty sure but the chocolate chip bad dragon says most of things so that's a win okay so for our next trade we are now getting offered another flower chocolate chip bad dragon oh we're getting offered two of them and a neon flower koala so neon flower koalas they're an ultra rare that came with the aussie egg and they're really cool but i feel like they have they should have more value than what they do add but we're actually getting three chocolate chip bat dragons, a koala, and um, they are giving us a neon fire pummer fish and a golden dragon. So this trade is definitely a win because they're giving us two or more chocolate chip bat dragons. But now we're getting offered a pig, and the pig is in okay. I think I have a pig. Oh yeah, I do have a pig. But a pig is an okay, like it's an okay pet, but it's definitely not as good as a Dalmatian or close to the Dalmatian, so they would have to add more, but this trade is a lose. But now we are getting offered, let's see, a rideable dodo. A, let's see what they're gonna give us, a mega rideable bloodhound a beluga whale that is mega one two three king bees a tree kangaroo and two zodiac minion chicks so i would say the best thing here that they're giving us is a mega ratable bloodhound so all these pets combined it is about fair and maybe just even a win but i wouldn't do this trade because you can get more for the dalmatian on its own than these pets combined because they're harder to trade but it is a win but now we are getting offered flowerets and we're getting offered four snow owls, a full grown, okay, so two full grown, one post teen and one teen. So this is actually really cool. And then the rest of the four are just little add-ons. So it's basically like a neon owl for a Dalmatian. And owls are kind of one of the common legendaries because when the Christmas update came out, they were one of the cheapest gingerbread legendaries. So many people bought them. But um, this trait is not the best, so we can definitely get more for it. And the Dalmatian has more value, so this trait is a lose. But now we are getting offered a cow. And a cow is a really good pet. A cow is an old pet that many people like. Many people have that as a dream pet. Many people would trade a lot for the pet. But people have the Dalmatian, people like the Dalmatian more and it's more of a rarity. So the Dalmatian is worth more. And what they're kind of giving us is a dire stag, an alley court, and a cow. And they're giving us little basic add-ons. So everything added up together is a about win or about fair. But for our next trade, they are giving us a fly ride lava dragon and a fly ride hippo. So, and just a little toy. So the best thing here is the Lava Dragon and a Lava Dragon is an okay legendary. They do have really good demand for themselves on their own. And then the Hippo is kind of just a little add-on. They don't have that good value nor demand. So this trade um, is just kind of a Lava Dragon for a Dalmatian and a Dalmatian has a lot more value than the Lava Dragon does so this trade is a lose. Okay, but now for the Dalmatian, we are getting offered a 
see a king bee, a rhinopo dodo, and slime, and then I guess just little add-ons because they're giving us a vehicle, a rare, and a stroller. So I guess the best thing here is the king bee, and that's that's not really good. The king bee doesn't have very good value. So if that's the best thing here, that says a lot of it, the trade, and see, they could add something else and they could make us better. Oh wait, no, they're giving us push. That trade isn't fair at all because they're just giving us two legendaries that don't have very good demand, so that's a lose. But for our next trade, we are now getting offered a fly ride albino monkey and a green butterfly. So this trade is actually, um, this trade is fair, it's equal because the Dalmatian and the albino have the same value. So that trade is equal. But now we are getting offered a rideable capicorn, a rideable dragonfly, a fossil egg, an ice moth, a nani neku, a owl bear, peacock, scarecrow crow, a light brown pony, oh my god, a T Rex, a tree kangaroo, a neon rideable lunar white tiger, a nightmare owl, a seagull, and a ant, a neon ant, and then a neon monkey. So, whoa, that's a lot. So they're giving us what? One, two, three, four, or three three ultra rares one that are neon so like nine legendaries or and then two little neon so that's actually extremely good i think the best thing here for the legendaries is probably the dragonfly or the t-rex maybe or one of those and um this is actually extremely good they're giving us a whole lot of legendaries and then four or three neon four or five neons so this is extremely good so this trade is about fair even though they are giving us a lot it's not about a win it's so out fair because it all makes you does have really good value but now we're getting offered a fly ride turtle and actually a fly ride turtle has um less value than dalmatian does so this trade we would actually be losing if we were to do this so the turtle is winning so this trade is actually a lose but now we are getting offered let's see they are giving us a ride potion two ride potions three okay so if they're just gonna offer us ride potions actually um i think they're gonna fill up the trade well ride potion that's what it looks like they're doing but you can actually buy the ride potion right now and i'm it's always gonna be available for 150 robux same with the fly potion so this trade um they did fill it up and they are always gonna be in the game always robux always available and the automation is not so this trade is a lose but now for our next trade and i had to switch devices we are getting offered a rideable t-rex or four rideable t-rexes a neon rideable mecha meow and a neon rideable candy hair so it's basically like three neons a neon t-rex a neon mecha meow and then a neon candy hair and t-rex are okay eight i mean not really they're just a junior and newborn so it's okay but this trade is actually extremely good this trade is a win because they're giving us basically three really good legendaries but anyways that's all i have for now if you would like to be part of team jj and with free legendary panky boys make sure to like this video subscribe join team jj on roblox and comment his name down below bye